we return once again to Pokemon Scarlet. And I've done plenty of training. I feel ready to take on the Bug Gym down there. Over in Cortando. Hmm. This should be interesting. Katie the Sugar Bug. And let's see, I managed to catch a whole slew of new Pokemon. Oops. Let me see here. Think. Oh, but a quick overview of my team. Watrell is actually one of my new recent additions, being an electric flying type. Bugs being classically strong against bugs. So, yeah. I feel like this is a solid team to go with. Also, it finally occurred to me, and Nacol is the chemical property of sodium chloride. I knew it had something to do with salt. I wonder if it's possible to make people salty with this line. Anyways, on to my uh, recent catches. Uh, So, let's see, maybe I should have sorted them by whether or not I got them in a uh, Terra raid. Let me see. But yeah, crazy enough, I found a flying Meowth out in the wild. As well as a, let's see, this one found in a Terra raid. And it actually kind of makes sense, as Toad School looks like a certain other Pokemon. Qfant. I mean, it was a new catch. Who knows if Steel to Normal would be a good idea. And then the Grieverd. So yes, I'll uh, showcase those two, sort out my boxes, and... We'll get right on to the gym battle, shall we? It's interesting that there's all this farmland around. Where if that'll come into play. Anyways. Oh. Anyways, as always like to take a tour around the town proper before we begin. Oops. It happened when I tried to go over here. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> Very scenic. Ah, this must be where the gym battle will take place. This will be interesting. Hmm. Oh, here we are. <coughs> Hey, Nimona. Ah, oh, yeah! Rain Spider! It's so wild that we ended up randomly visiting the same gym at the same time. Again. What a weird coincidence. Well, no. I swear I'm not just sneaking around of you so I can lie and wait and go. Oh, wow! Weird! Might as well battle now that you're here. No, seriously. Look, to prove it, I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Much as I'd like to. But, look at you and your Pokemon. They've definitely gotten stronger since last time. Add these to the mix, and you'll be 100% set to go. No problem. Oh, hey. Thanks for that. Eaters are very good to, for moves that have a low amount of power points. 
I'll be cheering for you. I'll go train like maybe 20 Pokemon or so while you tackle the gym. Wow. That's a lot. That reminds me. Is Way Coco still holding the Everstone? Doesn't look like it. Good. Because I trained him well enough to learn that one move, so now I'll let him evolve. Welcome to the Cortando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Rain Spider, yes? Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Caddy, you f you'll f Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Cortando Gym, that means taking on the Olive Roll. That sounds like the cheese roll. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortando. We've held the Olive Fest Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. <sighs> to pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. Hmm. Your efforts should help ensure that we get a great olive harvest next year, too. The staffer over at the Olive Rolling Field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get up there and have fun! Well, I'm sure I will. Hmm? Hmm. Okay then. Let's do this. Wait a second. That's a ramp. There we go. Let's see here. Aha. Got it. Welcome back. I hear you were on a roll out there. A big congratulations for me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Katie the sugar bug? Yes, I am. Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Here we go. Hmm. Eat up, my cute little pavilion. Oh? What a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh! Did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Pestiri Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortando Gym right now. Hmm. <laughs> Forgive me. <clears throat> My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cortando. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. 
like sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. I like her. Here goes. Alright. This will be good. Don't take my bug type Pokemon lightly. You'll be in for a world of pain if you do. I probably over leveled for this one. Here goes. Bug and fighting type. If I'm not mistaken. Tarantula. Hmm. Let's keep him. Let's keep Wingle out. Ah, oh, yes. Switch to Foy Coco now. <laughs> this is an interesting turn of events. So each gym leader is going to send out a Pokemon that isn't normally buck type. Oh, you're quite good, aren't you? How should I roll things out from here? Teddy Ursa is normally is a normal type Pokemon. But I get the feeling she's about to terrestrialize. So I'll answer in kind. Pokemon, time to break free from your cocoon and come into your own. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was just too prepared for this encounter. Hmm. All of my sweet little Pokemon dropped like flies. Your strength rose during her battle like a nice spread in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Hey! hey. This time I know to take a capture. With two gym badges in your possession, Pokemon of up to level 30 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about a little TM as the frosting on this cake? Pounce. Oh yeah. I didn't get a chance to see any move in action. I'll have to look into that. Use your attacks by pouncing on the target. This also lowers the target's speed stat. Not bad. Once you've found a TM during your travels, you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I kind of gathered that, yes. I wish you luck in your future adventures. May, there be sweet, uh, su may they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. 
talk to Kevin. Until we meet again. Alright then. Pardon me. Would you be the rain spider I've been hearing so much about? Oh. Hello there. Nimona had mentioned there was a promising new face in the academy. Yes, indeed. Oh, but I do apologize. I didn't mean to startle you by addressing you so suddenly. My name is Hassel. I am one of the Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I also teach art classes at the academy. Oh, so do tell me, young Rainspark. What compels you to collect these dim badges and strive to be a champion? Hmm... For fun, I guess? Asked and answered. Thank you. And naturally, there is no single correct answer. All paths lead to the great crater of Paldea, as they say. You know, your friend Nimona is the youngest to achieve champion rank in all of Paldean history. It's entirely possible that such great potential lies within you as well. Should you continue striving to reach champion rank, you will one day have to battle me. You'd be wise to train hard starting now. It will save you from experiencing the bitter regret of defeat. Oh, and do come along to my art class sometime. I would be thrilled to have you attend. Hmm. I might pop by the school on that. Right then. So then. What should be my next location? Hmm. This way, flying type, huh? Might not be a bad idea to swing by there. So yeah, Oop. I've got my destination and goal set. But first, let's get a team built. All right. Okay, Doki. So now we have a team set up. I'll just do a bit of shopping and I'll be on my way then. Hmm. What are you? In the world are you? Kepsa kid. Ah.
One can assume it's a dark type. Possibly a grass type. Not sure. Definitely a grass type. Alright, get in. Let's have a look at you. Don't come on. There we are. Let's see what you are. There we go. Oh, I used to think I see it up there. Aha! I did it! And down we go. Let's see. Hmm. Can't help but wonder if it's part rock type. Let's find out. There we go. This might be a little bit easier now. Uh 
Alright. Alright. Running off. Bar. You managed to get the Titan somehow, huh? To the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the Open Sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. It looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we'd better be ready to go all out. Uh oh. All right. Ah, that's right. I've got Thunderfang. Try to drop rocks and folks is dangerous. Let's get this thing a good taste of defeat. So that means I can't use the same move twice, right? Oh yeah. Here it goes. Hypercharged flamethrower. Boom. Interesting that it knows the move recover. But sure. But look at that view. Yes! Way to go! Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling us now, huh? There has to be more of that Urban Mystica it ate in here. Let's hurry and find it before the Titan can come back for another go at us. If we're lucky, there'll be another herb here. Knew it. Hmm. It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. Bitter herb mystica. Woohoo! We did it. Thanks. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Bitter Urban Mystica is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flow. And that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or, so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Rainspire? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. Hey, 
Chica. Yeah. Good Chica. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go. My special whimsical earth-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge. That's the token of my gratitude, of course. Uh, pretty bitter. Oh, come on! You again? Here you go. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> You're trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Karidon could have a sandwich, okay? Whoa! Look at him. That did something. Oh hey, that's cool. Now I can ride the water. Now I can finally wa ride the waves. Did it grow stronger again? Man, these are Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better. Or else I'm really up the creek. Uh-oh. Uh, you might want to watch your table. Don't do it. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Hmm. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story. Coming up, bud. Hmm? This is my boss stiff, my partner. It's not looking so good. Oh. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Fully now. Take your time. Oh no. One sec. Seems like that, uh, seems like that one's on its last legs, huh? Hmm. Small bites are fine. Just chew, nice and slow. Oh. So that's what he's on about. My buddy here was, uh, hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Potions and things don't work? Nothing seems to help. 
Not potions, not Pokemon centers. Nothing. My boast of here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Urban Mystica. That book. What is it? I found it in my mom's lap. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Urban Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We called these Titan Pokemon. Oh. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody would usually believe. I believe it. I think what it says is true. According to this book, eating all five Urban Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, the Bosif's paws were cold as ice before he ate the last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. You done eating, bud? Uh-oh. Hmm? Hey. It looks like some color is returning to his eyes. Hey! My boastiff! Can... Can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes! I did it! It's... It's been so long since he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I, I'm so, I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, look at him. Those fire orange little eyes. I can't even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring my Bosif back to full health. I swear it! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, so, that's my story. Three ups to go. Let's find them together. Hmm. Right. Hmm? Hello, Rain Spider. This is Sada. I detect that Karaidon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Hmm. Huh. Okay then. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Karaidon. Alright then. Let's see. So, I think I'll see about. Hmm. No. Let's see. Think. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll fly back to over here, make my way to the psychic gym. Alright, all set. So, let's make our way to Alfernada. Hmm? 
Oh yeah. There we go. Hacha finally have leveled up. So now. Hmm. Here we go. You earned it, buddy. It's a crocolore. Or Crocolore. That's it. The combination of Crocolore's fire energy and overflowing vitality has caused an egg shaped fireball to appear on the Pokemon's head. Oh, it does look like a nest, doesn't it? Hmm. Give this a shot. Hmm. Alpha not a detour. Hmm? Let's have a bell. It'll help me feel less alone and lost. way any after all.
TV. See what Nimble evolves into. Ooh, look at you. Low kicks, huh? When it decides to fight all out, it stands on its previously floated legs to enter showdown mode. It neutralizes its enemies in short order. Cave again. Maybe this will be different. Looks like I'll have to try a different place next time, Ben. Oh well. Looks like I got some pretty cool Pokemon out of it. Hmm. Well. Let's figure out. Hmm. I think that'll be my next uh, attempt. So, I guess I'll just fly back and regroup. So, until next time, I'll be training up and setting up a team. See ya. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty, anyway? What makes something beautiful? Hmm. The eye of the beholder? Interesting. Thank you, Rainspot. Oh, I don't mean to suggest there's a correct answer to my query. The important thing is that you all take time to think about it. I see.